The Trump administration is trying to determine the next step now that North Korea has a missile capable of reaching America. Wei Zhejiang has more details from the White House. U.S. and South Korean missiles shot into the sky Wednesday. While they hit the sea, the message was aimed at North Korea. The move comes one day after North Korea successfully test fired its first intercontinental ballistic missile. The Hwasong 14 is capable of reaching Alaska. I don't expect this is going to be the, the, the end of the line for them. I think the kinds of things they're doing will allow them to continue to increase the range. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson issued a statement saying global action is required to stop a global threat and that the U.S. will never accept a nuclear armed North Korea. President Trump has pushed China to intervene with economic pressure on North Korea, but to no avail. The president fired off a tweet this morning pointing out China has actually increased trade with Pyongyang. And he added, so much for China working with us, but we had to give it a try. China and Russia say they oppose any attempt to resolve the crisis by force and have proposed the U.S. and South Korea end joint exercises in the region in exchange for the North suspending weapons tests. The U.N. Security Council is holding an emergency meeting this afternoon, but Russia and China have veto power, making new sanctions against North Korea unlikely. Weijia Jiang, CBS News, the White House. The White House is saying that President Trump will deliver a major speech during his visit to Warsaw, Poland today. The president left Washington this morning. He's going to give that address from Krasinski Square, the epicenter of the 1944 Warsaw Uprising against Nazi occupation. He'll